Hello and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be painting this orc weird knob shaman, uh, part of our repainting for our orc warclans army. Um, I like my new paint scheme for them a lot more than my old one of the white uh, that was on like the older channel, like some of the older videos on the channel, probably the first video on the channel actually. Um, so we're going to start with their flesh. We're going to use this plague bearer flesh for their skin now. It's the new it's mostly contrast these guys um, it's quick and it covers well and it does everything that I want it to it has like the vibrancy of color it has a variety of colors that I can use it covers well without having to do millions and millions of coats so this is what we have resulted to after trial and error. Um, you know, to be honest, I haven't really been using my orcs. Um, I haven't really been interested in playing them, which is probably why I wanted to repaint them. Well, it definitely contributes to why I wanted to repaint them. Um, so, it's, it's definitely a pain to repaint them, so I'm not doing myself any favors here by repainting, but but it makes me want to play them more. Oh, and that's my wife. I thought she left. She is screaming. Like good screaming, not bad screaming. Otherwise I would not be here still painting. Um, so let's get him all, all his skin all nice and painted with this green. Made them more desert, uh, well desert base, but it's kind of America themed, red, white, and blue. Um, which is funny because they're kind of like, I think their lore, or at least the lore when I had, when I played a long time ago was they wanted like ultimate freedom to do whatever they wanted. So kind of fits, but um, but also in fitting with the He-Man theme of most of my armies, uh, Trap Jaw is these kind of, is kind of these colors, which is funny. And I found that out, I, I kind of figured that out after I did the paint scheme, so it wasn't, wasn't planned. But just for reference, this is kind of what we're going for. Um, I just have him out for reference to just be like, okay, what, do, what colors are we doing? Um, so for the, this, piece we're going to use Leviathan blue. Actually, we'll do under first. Let's do the Blood Angels red for the under parts because we don't want to hit this later with it. So uh, normally the cloth is gray, and but he's mostly cloth and he wouldn't have had as much of the, the army's color that I'm using in it if I didn't do it this way. Um, so forgive me if it's not perfect to my scheme. Because like probably this would still be red because I think I have the loincloths as red on all the guys, but the, the top part would be gray instead. But it's such a secondary color um, not even a secondary color. It's such like a tertiary color. It's like not even part of the equation most of the time that it's kind of not, he would fit in less if I had that color on him. So at least that's my thought and that's how I'm justifying it to myself. So I'm also like on a mad dash too finish videos for September because I'm going to be gone oops, all of September so 
Just gotta push through here and get this painted. Now I hit that green spot with the red and we don't want that. So we'll try to take it off with some water there, which looks like we got it. Okay, and then we'll have to come back to the red in a bit, but before that, Let's get, let me see. I'm trying to see if there's any like, oh, I missed some, okay. Well, let's keep, let's just keep with the red for now. Let's just keep with the red. Let's look at that, I messed up here, the upper part of the loincloth skirt thingy that he's got going on. Um, now a couple of these would be red with my red, white, red. We want to do like every other one and we'll do the blue, we'll do them blue on the other side. So then this is red, white, red. We just got to get the back ends of the ones that we hit right there. So that one, that one. This skull got kind of messed up. Oops. Well, it's gone now. <laughs> it's fine. We don't. We can always glue it back on later. Or not if we want to. Okay, so there's all the reds. We can probably. Mm. Let me see, I'm just thinking through this really quick. To put this here, oops, put this here. You can like tack it in with some, and then we'll take, we'll keep it off. We'll leave it off for now. If it looks terrible later, then we'll change it. But until that day comes, we'll just clean that up better. Okay, so that's for the red. Now we go to the Leviathan Blue contrast paint. And that's going to be the top of the cloak here. Make sure I'm in frame there. So like I said, this would normally be gray if I were to like follow the paint plan to the letter, but sometimes you have to make adjustments just to better fit things together. And I think this is probably the better choice. Let's go in there, let's favor towards the bone piece, which I did there to avoid getting his skin t tinted with the blue, which we do not want, because that is a lighter color. Get all this on, nice and thick, because we want it to be dark, but since maybe this is, maybe since this is cloth, it can be a little bit lighter, and we can be cool with it. Let's get around the head here. And then from there, under here. Okay. Now we gotta get the back side of it. So just kind of flip them over here and Dab the color in where we can see that it's white. And like when you do this sometimes, you don't even really have to do this. It's all up to you. Most people won't look back here. The only person that'll know most of the time it's you. So if you don't care, don't waste your time. 
but I think I say this all the time is that I get a little, a little obsessive if I don't do some things certain ways and I'll just come back in the middle of the night and do it. So I just do it the first time. So for this, since this is red, we'll do every other one blue here, uh, unlike the the top, which we did every other one. Well, there's like two right next to each other, but it's fine. Okay. So that's our blue. And then we'll go back to the red really quick because I did notice some stuff back there while I was back here. There was another little upper parts of the loincloth thing that are showing. Let's grab those with the red really quick. Okay, now we'll get our like wrappings, which is the Gorgonta fur color. So the Gorgonta fur contrast. And we'll go find all like the the strings and stuff here like on the necklace up here on the top of the the horns we got going on it's okay if we get a little blue in it just kind of sweep towards the blue that way it maybe it blends in a little bit better the two colors there just clean off your brush if you touch the blue because you don't want to contaminate your paint. And then there's some like little leather straps kind of holding all this together. There's a little leather thing on his wrist there. that. We got the little handle of the sword in here that we'll get and the little pouches right here that he's got on his waist as well as like a little strap going across his chest. So we'll try to hit those while we're in here. I gotta kind of flip it around here. Get this end of the sword and then that there. The back side, sorry if you can't really see in there right now. It's just the way it has to be for me to get in there with the paintbrush. Okay. And we just continue along here with the stuff on there. Okay, and then there's some in there, right here on the top of the staff and on the back of the staff here. Good. And then, like we've been doing, go back to the red. <laughs> because we keep missing spots. Um, we'll get this one that we touched with the the brown. That way we'll cover up the brown and then get that to be the color we wanted it to be. <sighs> okay, and then we go into uh, our leather brown. Let's get our palette out open so it seems like it's probably pretty dried up. Ugh. Sorry, I turned on my airbrush compressor. Let me just give this like a spray down. It's looking a little like dirty in here. I don't know what's causing that. I'm not 
Uh, that's mostly dried out, it seems like. Let's pour some water in here. Keep it wet. That sponge absorb it. And push this down. Okay. And then we go to our leather brown. Oh, actually, this is kind of a bone stuck with a stick. Okay, so let's be a little careful here. So we want to get just the branch that's on here. So it looks like the bone starts in here. Like nailed into it. extra careful around his wrist here. You don't want to get the green skin touched with this brown. And if we can get in here. And come around the back. Okay. Make sure that that's all of that. Okay, then we go into our gunmetal metallic for just the little wrist band that he's got on and the nail inside the And like this metallic paint works way better over a black paint, but if you put it on fairly thick, it'll be fine. It will be fine. And cover up that end over there. Okay. And then we got the sword, which we use this our medium sea gray for because I like to make their swords kind of rocky. Okay, this is dead, which we've known for a while. So I bought a new one. So let's get this out of here so we know how to chuck it later. Okay. And we'll just hit the blade with the brown and with the gray, their medium sea gray. Now kind of as like a throwback to our old army where he uses other medic blue to be like an icy blue for the smoke coming out of it. I've been doing that a little bit like with I think their eyes are blue too. Um, just because this is like a little reminder of where we came from. I'm gonna kind of start at the bottom pretty thick here and then just kind of pull it up into the cloud. And like let it get thin as we kind of get towards the end. Just let it get. Okay, so we kind of just pulled up the color of the other medic blue from the bottom to the top and just left it light kind of going through the whole thing. Uh, the video cut out, I think, but it's okay. So now we're gonna go to Agrax Earthshade to get all the, the bones uh, tinted with a more bony color. Uh, this is just what I, how I do them. I think it gives a decent bone look without being like crazy overpowering. You want it thicker at the top here. Okay. 
Ooh, and then same thing for all these skulls here. I'm gonna get those with the brown. I'm trying to stay away from the white. Oh, I missed that guy over there. It's okay. It's okay. Let's get the back sides of them as well. Not mandatory. And then this bone part right here. And as well as the 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 metal the metallic that we put in there too, the brass. We're gonna get that hit as well. And then we'll go into the skull here. When I hit it with the teeth with the Gorgrunt and it looks kind of like he's got gold teeth. Which, you know, not totally against the, that for, for orcs, right? I think they would be down. Get the back of this here. Okay. Make sure we get this. Okay. And like I said, their eyes were toxic mist blue. So get that little dot there to dot his eyes as best we can here. seeing that some of the colors had gone through um, when I did the other contrast paints onto the skin so really quick to fix that we'll just get some white and we'll put it over the top of those areas so like right here's one and then this teeth these teeth area right here got it I don't know how it was that bad. And if you want, we can take some red. Probably just this, this red here. Put a little dot on there. And get the tongue. here, cover up the blue that's showing. Okay. And while that's drying, we can do some more touch-ups with the Agrax. So you can see like where it's not really going right now where we want it to, so just fill it in more here, here. Probably on the reverse end here too. Okay. And now we get our non oil shade. And we will go over the whites with it just to darken them up a little bit give them more of a battle worn appearance so those ones this one this one here and then we get the blade of the sword as well both sides and we'll get the band here so, no. okay. 
So by now the white should be dry and we can go back in with our plague bearer flesh. Also, we missed the fingers in here, so we can just go get those really fast. Give it just a little bit more time to dry. Okay. And then we just go back onto the face here. Get in that area. The gums. And there we go. And there is our Weird Mob Shaman. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And then we will catch you guys on the next one.